So today we are at Rolex and we've met up with Tom, who is the general manager of Rolex AV. Hi, nice to meet nice you, Tom. To meet you. How are you doing? Hi, Gary. Yeah, very good. good. And today we've got some very interesting stuff to look at. Obviously, Rolex are enormous in the electric vehicle charging arena, but we're particularly interested in this specific thing here today. We're talking about smart EV charging. So why is this such a hot topic literally right now, Tom? Hot topic starts with the 1st of July. Yeah. As of the 1st of July, all charge points need to be smart right. in order to unlock the £500 grant from OLEV. So that's quite a significant change then? Massively, because right. all existing charge points that are enjoying a £500 grant will no longer be applicable. Wow, so that's a huge change. So a smart wall pod from uh, Rolex. What's the advantage to the customer to have a smart one? So at the minute, we know they can just plug in and charge their vehicle, but now we're saying to get the uh, grant, they're going to have to have it smart. So there must be an advantage to the customer to have a smart one. What's the advantage? Uh, benefits of having a smart one is to, to have complete control of your charging infrastructure at home. It allow you to monitor your charging sessions. It will record your charging history, uh, but also tie into your uh, energy provider to use your um, economy rates right. and tariffs and also uh, tie into greener energy. So potentially this could save you money and also uh, make your car run even greener than Co it was before. Correct. Yeah. So when you say greener energy, will it actually tell you that you're using a more sustainable form of electricity when charging your car? Is that what it's going to say? So the science behind this is we partnered with a, um, a company called EV Energy mm -hmm. that uh, is our strategic partner for the software and the ability to work with um, the utility companies and with uh, with the national grid. Uh, if I can just take you through the process, mm. um, you drive home, you come, come home at night after work, you plug your car into, into the charge point and then you go to the app on your phone. Right. On the app on your phone, you tell the charge point or char tell the app that you want the car ready for a set time. So for example, I always like my car to be charged for seven o'clock in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Um, by doing that, I'm relinquishing control to EV Energy, to my utility company and National Grid sure. uh, to work with, um, with each other to decide when is the greener energy being, oh, uh, being that's used really clever. and also depending on what tariff you are. So everyone plugs in, in, in their vehicle into the charge point, they're demanding the power mm. um, immediately and therefore in turn the um, the fossil fuels and coal are being burnt cra yeah. like crazy by yeah. the by the utility companies and, pro and energy providers. That allows them to sort of take that burden away from yeah. the grid yeah. um, because the algorithms in the back office and the app yeah. uh, will decide when when it's better, when is it greener. Fantastic. Greener times of charging are typically in, in the middle of the night. Yep. Um, the, the main thing is, is the app will make sure that the vehicle is charged ready for when yeah. you want it to be ready. So it's actually solving a number of problems, isn't it? It's stopping the grid being overloaded at key times. It's helping to provide part of the solution to that issue and also utilising greener energy more efficiently and reducing the burden on fossil fuels potentially. Correct. Oh, wow. And if you've bought yourself an electric car, you're trying to be greener anyhow. Yeah. So of course you want the greener energy to be actually the one charging it. You said it's smart enabled. Does that mean we're starting to get Cat5, Cat6 cables out to the actual wall pod now? No, we've, we've made the decision to go down the route of having GPRS in the unit. So to save the burden of having additional cables being run to routers in the house and also the, the issue that we've come up against of um, trying to get through people's internet firewalls. Mm -hmm. um, it is a process that we've considered and we may, may introduce later, but for us, our market research has said that GPRS mm -hmm. is the cleanest and, and easiest approach. So this isn't even going to connect to your Wi-Fi network no, at home, it's, it's completely independent of that, it's working on the mobile phone network? Correct, wow. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so really it has work. a built-in SIM card, it has a modem, of course, provide, you, you do need a yeah. mobile phone signal, uh, but the great thing is with the SIM cards, they're roaming SIMs, so they'll always go for the strongest signal. Right, available. so it's not relying on a specific network, it's, no. uh, oh wow, that's really clever, I right. really like that's that, that's really good. good. That's good. So, that's just, just thinking again about you know my own situation, I get home, suddenly I need to think, I need to be out of the house in an hour, I, what I don't want to be doing is thinking, you know, I've got to wait for the best time to charge up. Is there a, a way of kind of overcoming that if I need a quick charge? So a bit like um, British Gas and Hive, yep. you have a boost button. Ah, oh, This has a boost button Fantastic. as well. So That's a relief. It's, it's, <laughs> great. it's great that I've come home after a half, hard day at the office yep. and now I'm not going to jump back in the car until 7 o'clock in the morning. But yep. my wife decides that we want to go out for dinner or, yeah. or go and do something. I need power. Yeah. Press the boost button and it overrides, and it, it you know it takes the it takes Excellent. the electricity 
right then and there to charge yeah. the kit. Got it. Charge Put it the all car. covered then, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah. All, all um, the going back to the smart element about mm. what, you know, that's organ and well that we're sort of saving money, uh, greener energy, uh, you know, everyone's benefit, benefiting mm. from it. But I'd say the cool tech yeah. is what you can see on the app. Okay. Um, the app records your charging history. You can see how much CO2 you've saved, carbon intensity, oh, wow. electricity use, how much it's cost. Uh, and there's, there's also the ability for the utility companies to offer reward points as well for smart charging. So to get your vouchers for <laughs> wow. free coffee. Yeah. So, so it's, it's a, a um, stats nerd <laughs> dream and a little yeah. reward there as well. Yeah, I like no, that. Very yeah. much so. But I think to sort of ta go, tackle the, any ongoing costs, because that's going to be a frequently asked question, is in the built, built into the price uh, is the SIM card and the mm. contract for three years. Right. After three years, there will be a conversation between mm. the, uh, the homeowner and EV Energy to decide whether um, they're using a greener tariff and, and greener provider. If uh, the customer is with one of the companies that they work closely with, yeah. they, the ongoing costs will be zero. Right. Um, but if it's a provider that they're not aware of, mm -hmm. um, then there, there will be an ongoing cost of no more than two pounds per month. Oh, so it's not um, financially critical. No, not at all. Right? And that's no more than what other charge point yeah. providers are offering yeah. from the start. Um, mm -hmm. the, the goal of our, our strategic partner is to get every single utility company on yeah. board because yeah. their unique service is that they're saving money for the utility provider. Sure. The driver and of course national grid so yeah. it's a win-win-win um, yeah. for, for all around fantastic so, so with july the first pending um a roll up got them ready to roll out now we're manufacturing a thousand units as we speak oh, uh, with so. stock uh, to be distributed out to wholesalers ready for open sale first of first of january oh sorry first of july fantastic. um and um yeah pre-orders have been close to very close to what we've already pre-manufactured. Uh, pre so so we've, we've just had the EV revolution, electric vehicles are building and building, and we're just about to have the EV charging revolution. So it's a, it's a very exciting time for the, the industry, the EV industry specifically, but the electrical industry as a whole. Absolutely fascinating. What a pleasure to talk to you, Tom. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you very you. much for Thanks speaking for to us today. Yeah, cheers. cheers.